In the heart of the Arabian desert, a hyper-futuristic modern marvel is beginning to take shape. The Line, Saudi Arabia's latest ambitious mega-project, defies conventions with a concept that takes what we think we know about urban planning and quite literally turns it on its head. The Line is designed to be a mirrored linear city in the desert composed of two parallel skyscrapers, each 170 kilometers long and 500 meters tall stretching across the northwest part of Saudi Arabia, from the Red Sea approximately to the city of Tabuk. Even by recent standards, in these hyper-wealthy oil states, where there's seemingly been an arms race in devising and bringing to life an abundance of highly innovative, boundary-smashing mega-projects, the line almost feels like an unrealistic pipe dream. Initial projections from the Saudis put the price of development at $500 billion while some estimates theorize that it could end up costing $1 trillion to see to completion. As such, it invites reflection and conversation. Is this another innovative, groundbreaking concept from some of the brightest minds in architecture? Or does it represent some grim dystopia reminiscent of the Kowloon Walled City, where the population is uncomfortably crammed into an impossibly small space in the pursuit of the next big thing in urban development? So, what is the line? How is it going to impact Saudi Arabia's expansion and can the rest of the world learn anything from such a wildly experimental concept? If you enjoy our videos, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. It helps us to keep delivering great content like this. Neom, a futuristic megacity project covering 26,000 square kilometers of desert located in Saudi Arabia, represents a pioneering vision for urban development and sustainability. The brainchild of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Neom aims to revolutionize various faucets of modern living, including technology, energy, transportation, and ecology. Central to this vision is The Line, a revolutionary futuristic eco-city that exemplifies Neom's commitment to cutting-edge technology and livability. Envisioned as a zero-emission 170-kilometer long linear city, the mega project is a marvel of urban planning that eventually plans to house up to 9 million people, roughly 25% of Saudi Arabia's current population. This is the first point where skepticism could be drawn. Housing 9 million people in a structure with a total area of 34 kilometers squared would result in an average population density of 260,000 kilometers squared. By comparison, Manila, the world's most densely populated city in 2020, had a density of 44,000 km2. In essence, the line aspires to be more than just a feat of engineering or an aesthetic marvel. It aims to offer pragmatic solutions to the complex problems of urban living and environmental sustainability, redefining not just architecture, but human habitation as a whole. Built along a carefully designed strip, it is free from conventional transportation infrastructure, relying instead on an advanced, high-speed train system. This ambitious project aims to create a truly walkable city, where all amenities such as housing, schools, offices and public spaces are all layered on top of each other and within a five-minute stroll. Parks and natural green spaces are also planned to be only two minutes away from people at any given time. All of this carefully planned accessibility aims to foster a sense of community and convenience. Neom's involvement with the line is emblematic of their dedication to sustainable urban development. By doing away with the need for traditional vehicles within the city itself, the line mitigates traffic congestion, reduces pollution and minimizes energy consumption. Furthermore, the city is meticulously designed to maximize environmental preservation, with green spaces and natural habitats seemingly integrated into the urban fabric. The line's commitment to being powered entirely by renewable energy sources, combined with its minimal physical footprint on the environment, will ensure that up to 95% of the surrounding landscape will be remained undisturbed, with the aim of reshaping the traditional sprawl of other modern cities, which are gradually approaching the size of small nations. Although praised as a groundbreaking achievement in urban planning and sustainability, detractors have put forth a compelling argument against the project. Its adherence to a linear design may pose a significant vulnerability. In a recent study, it is suggested that when it comes to major life pursuits like careers, education and social interactions, the line's linear layout could potentially present a challenge. After conducting a thorough analysis, the researchers arrived at a surprising revelation. If its 9 million inhabitants are equally distributed throughout the city, 
Each kilometer will contain roughly 53,000 people. If we randomly pick two people from the city, they will be, on average, 57 kilometers apart. Although the line occupies only 2% of the surface of Johannesburg, if we pick two random people in Johannesburg, they're only 33 kilometers apart, the study concludes. The suggested solution? The circle. While it might not be as catchy or as revolutionary as a concept, a circular design would maximize proximity among residents and could potentially reduce commuting times and energy consumption. In the circle, there would be little need for high-speed trains as walking or cycling would be feasible for most residents, and public transport could fill in for any remaining transport needs. A circle that occupies the same surface as the line, 34 km squared, has a radius of only 3.3 km, the team noted. In the circle, the expected distance between two random people is only 2.9 km. In the circle, a person is at walking distance of 24% of the population, and within 2 kilometers, they could reach 66% of the destinations, so most of their mobility could be active. While the paper primarily highlights the mathematical limitations of the line's layout, it also raises valid practical concerns. For instance, if the city's primary train line experiences a malfunction, it could potentially isolate residents from a significant portion of the population, an idea deemed inconceivable in today's modern urban centres. However, the paper's reasonable arguments may ultimately be in vain, as construction on the line is already underway. We are getting a city designed in a straight line, whether it makes mathematical sense or not. While everything discussed sounds amazing and almost too good to be true on paper, little is actually known about the project as of right now outside of carefully tailored trailers and sleek renderings, and development is still in the extremely early stages. The construction of early foundations were begun in October 2021, and speculations indicate that the first tenant could be moving in by 2030. Two new satellite images analysed by SOAR, an online digital atlas, show new developments in the province. The images were taken last month by CG Satellite, a remote sensing satellite company in China. In the first image, which shows the central area of Neom, there appears to be significantly expanded work around the main construction base of the project, including several new buildings in the base village. There is excavation activity and ground movement, according to Saul, in comparison to Google Maps satellite imagery taken before the project's construction, where the desert area was untouched. The activity appears to faintly be in the shape of a horizontal line. Also visible appears to be a mining operation, as well as earthworks near what will become Neom's Tourism Visitor Center. The second newly published image, taken from the eastern part of Neom on the Plateau Heights, shows earthworks that clearly resemble a straight line. Analysis by Saw suggests this could potentially be deep excavation to prepare access to basement rock in the western areas of the new city. The new developments pictured in May 2023 include the removal of a tower on a power line in the area likely part of the new city's continued expansion. But aside from this limited information, the project thus far is very much still in the concept stages, with a lot of questions still to answer and roadblocks that could inhibit progress. For example, constructing a city that spans such a long distance in a straight line presents significant engineering and logistical challenges. Building the necessary infrastructure, including transportation systems, utilities and services, could prove incredibly complex and costly. With the funding Saudi Arabia has at its disposal, it's reasonable to expect that they would employ experienced engineering and construction forms with a track record in large-scale projects, and they could conduct thorough feasibility studies and simulations to identify and mitigate potential challenges. Also, adapting to new ways of living and working in a city like The Line may require significant cultural shifts for both residents and businesses. Ensuring that the city is inclusive and meets the needs of diverse population will be crucially important. Those in charge will need to conduct extensive community outreach and engagement to involve residents and businessmen in the planning process, and develop inclusive policies and amenities that cater to a diverse population. Given its location in a desert region, the line may be susceptible to natural disasters like sandstorms, as well as the impacts of climate change such as rising temperatures and water scarcity. They would need to incorporate climate-resilient design features and infrastructure to mitigate the impacts of natural disasters and implement monitoring systems and early warning protocols for potential environmental risks. If this utopian pipe dream ever becomes a reality, it heralds a significant step forwards to a greener future for Saudi Arabia.
the integration of cutting-edge technology, renewable energy sources and a commitment to environmental preservation exemplify a forward-thinking approach. However, amidst these lofty promises lies a crucial question. Is the line truly a feasible endeavour in the long run? The unprecedented scale and cost of the project raise valid concerns. The challenges of maintaining sustainability, addressing cultural shifts and managing potential environmental risks must be met with unwavering dedication and precision. As construction forges ahead, only time will unveil the true magnitude of the line's impact. Its success could mark a transformative milestone for Saudi Arabia, setting a precedent for urban development worldwide. Yet, the road ahead is laden with intricate challenges that demand careful consideration. The line stands as a testament to bold vision and audacious ambition, reminding us that the future of urban living holds infinite possibilities. Thanks for watching and until next time.